Hi dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine so this video is dedicated to all the class 10 students who are attending 2022 board examination so most of you were requesting me to upload the physics part which was discussed in Akashwani program for your SSLC science examination preparation so in this video I am discussing about the physics part dear students so for your physics part totally 28 marks is allotted out of 80 marks 28 marks is been allotted for physics part okay so totally four lessons you have to study in the physics so because fifth lesson human eye and a colorful world is deleted for 2022 board examination and when we talk about individually about each and every lesson so the first lesson which i would like to discuss here is the sources of energy so for this particular lesson three marks is allotted dear student okay so some things when i am explaining about you know each and every lesson you have to make note that you are going to study each and every concept which i am discussing in this video without fail for your examination okay yes when i talk about sources of energy you need to learn about the biogas plant diagram see in the previous year question paper this diagram is not asked but as per Akashwani program discussion, they are saying that this diagram can be expected in 2022 board examination. So do learn this diagram. So next, the some of the important concepts that you need to you know prepare from the sources of energy are renewable and non-renewable resources, what are fossil fuels, and energy transformation in thermal power plant and also the hydroelectrical power plant. So this particular concept related questions can be expected and then you have to learn what is wind energy, disadvantages of wind energy and you need to learn the merits and also the demerits of solar cooker and what is solar cooker or what is solar cell, solar panel. So these kind of questions are asked in the examination or what is geothermal energy. So uh, related to geothermal energy some of the extra questions can also be asked okay sources of energy is a very easy lesson so you can get easily three marks from this lesson okay so once you thoroughly go through the textbook okay it is very important and i also have shared the notes for sources of energy in the telegram group so you can also go through the uh, notes which i have already forwarded it will be definitely useful for your examination preparation so moving to next lesson light reflection and refraction dear students this lesson is the high weightage lesson in the physics part so totally 12 marks you can get only by studying this particular lesson. So from this person 100% one ray diagram will be asked, one problem will be asked and theory based questions are asked. So without failure you have to learn the ray diagrams related to reflection and also the lens related ray diagrams you also have to compulsorily practice. Okay, so ray diagrams must and should you have to practice. So how to write the ray diagrams and what is the nature of the image formed when the ray diagrams are being drawn. These videos are already uploaded in my channel. Check out the link in the description box below after watching this video. So you can expect the mirror formula related problems and you must study the laws of reflection, laws of refraction, refractive index. And you must also learn the lens related ray diagram and also the problems related to lens. So what is power of lens they can ask, definition they can ask. Okay. And next magnification related problems. Yes. So related to this particular topic we have seen that in many question paper magnification power and also the magnification related problems are being asked. So do learn that and see one hint I would like to give you that do learn all the problems which are given in the exercise. Okay, this year you can expect most of the problems directly from the exercise part and also example part. Okay, there are some example questions are given in example okay area. So learn those you know sums directly those sums can also be asked in the examination. There's more chance of asking. So as per the discussion uh, which has been done in the Akashwani program. Moving to next, you have to learn about the uh, identity uh, that is you can uh, you have to learn identifying the type of lens using the power. See, if power is positive, it is always convex lens. If power is negative, it is always concave lens. You must know about this. Okay, so this is all about the light reflection and also the refraction. So these concepts are very important without fail. 
learn this so don't forget to practice the example and also the exercise problems given in this particular lesson dear students so moving to next lesson that is electricity so for this particular lesson six marks is allotted and important things that you need to study from this particular lesson is definitions and also the si units very important all the definitions and all the si units write at one place and also learn so for example they can ask about electric current they can ask about the resistance they can ask about the potential difference okay so learn about the definitions and also the si units so ohm's law related or joule's law related problems can be asked in the examination for two marks dear students and also learn the difference between ohm's law and joule's law so very important what is ohm's law what is joule's law difference between ohm's law and joule's law you must know and commercial unit of electric current you have to know particularly about this particular concept okay so kilowatt hour we say so you must know about this particular concept moving to next electrical symbols okay very importantly you have to note down the electrical symbols and ohm's law circuit diagram is very important and series and parallel connection okay here see you can expect the problems related to series and parallel connection for three marks they can ask in the examination series connection they can give they can give certain numbers and also they can give parallel connection they can ask to find out the values when the you know when they are connected in series and parallel connection and they can also ask you what is the difference between these two okay so do learn up the problems related to series and parallel connection and you also have to learn about the power related formula okay so p is equals to vi so related to this you can expect some of the uh, questions next you have to learn about the series connection disadvantages what are the disadvantages okay of the series connection okay you have to learn all this concept which i am telling you now okay yes so this is all about the lesson called electricity dear students next we have to focus towards the last lesson that is the magnetic effect of electric current so this particular lesson is very easy also because direct questions are been asked okay in this uh, lesson uh, from this particular lesson direct questions are asked okay so the important concepts are you have to study about the magnetic field lines in a straight conductor electric motor and electric generator diagrams you have to learn compulsorily one diagram will be asked okay and uh, relation okay what is the relation between the electric motor and electric generator on the basis of the diagram they can ask you questions and you can also have to learn the factors which influences so factors which increases the induced current in the solenoid so related to this particular concept you can expect question factors which increases the induced current in the solenoid i have already solved about answers for these particular questions in some of the question papers which i have already uploaded you can check in my channel next you have to study about you know what is meant by magnetic field right hand thumb rule what is meant by electromagnet principle behind the electric motor and electric generator fleming's right hand rule and also the fleming's left hand rule and also you have to know the what do these fingers indicates okay and you also have to learn about the domestic use okay and you have to learn about how fuse and the bulbs are connected and what is earthing what is overload what is short circuit advantages of ac over dc these are some of the frequently asked questions in the examinations so whichever the concept i am telling you now related to this concept do learn the you no know, points so very important dear students okay so this is all about the physics part so totally you will get 3 marks sources of energy 12 marks from light reflection and refraction 6 marks from electricity 6 marks from magnetic effects of electric current so firstly you study the magnetic effects of electric current because here straight questions are asked and then don't forget to learn the ray diagram 3 marks you will get and don't forget to learn the motor and uh, mot electric motor and electric generator compulsory one diagram will be asked so these are all some compulsory questions okay so do learn this and so all the best for your examination so i have explained all the three parts physics chemistry and biology the important concept that you need to study for your 2022 board examination dear students so tomorrow morning at 5:30 i will be teaching you the periodic classification of elements so this particular lesson in one shot so tomorrow is our day 19 crash course so let's all meet in tomorrow's live class thank you so much for watching my video 
ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन